Welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a juice reading and in this reading I'm going to be looking at you, your person, the energy between you and your person, what is taking place between you and them, what are some of the spiritual changes that are happening right now uh, in your connection and most importantly what do you need to know moving forward. So this is going to be a general reading so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended so for those of you that are new to the channel welcome for those of you who are returning welcome back in this reading I look at you and your person and of course it is a general reading doesn't matter what sign you are it's very important that when you're on this type of reading that you are open-minded you're keeping an open mind in terms of what the messages may uh, may be now the reading may not resonate with you from point A to point B, but there will be important messages uh, in this reading that will help you bring clarity to your situation, especially if you have important questions you need answered in regards to your love life. Okay, There's also a possibility uh, where I may discuss about finances in this reading. So if that's something that you're interested in, that may be something that is brought up as well too. Now, for those of you who are new to the channel and this is your first time watching a lot, welcome um, what I tend to do before I get into the reading is I like to explain the reading a little bit more as well as just give you some sort of uh, detailed announcements in terms of what you can expect now it's really important that when you're watching this reading that you're listening to the announcements at the beginning of the reading because if you don't listen to the announcements at the be um, the beginning of the reading and then you may miss important news or information, okay? So very important that you're listening, you're hearing what I have to say to you before actually jumping in to the um, the reading and not, and not getting all the information that you need, okay? So um, before I get started with the reading, I do want to mention that <laughs> this is the juice. So do share with us below what it is that you're drinking. Um, what do you recommend? What do you suggest? For me, I am drinking my, um, it's a secret concoction that uh, not everybody has access to, but it is a health drink that I'm drinking. And as you all can see, um, it's working for me. So, uh, so yeah, so make sure you're commenting below. What are you drinking? Let us know if you have any, uh, recommendations. If you have a juice recipe, do link it below, uh, so that we can try it out and see what it's all about. Okay. So I'm drinking a uh, very healthy vitamin it's like a vitamin water, but it's one that I make at home. And if this is something that you're interested in, if you're interested in knowing more about what I do, what I eat, what I wear, all of that stuff, how I take care of myself and get myself looking the way I do, you could follow me on my Instagram at the love messages where I share, you know, my clothing, my outfits, you know, things I eat and all of that. Uh, so yeah, head over there and follow me. Another announcement I have as well too uh, is that I am slowly but surely getting everything together for my course, for my astrology course. This is going to be a very big uh, course that I'm doing. It is something that you know means a lot to me and I'm really looking forward to bringing on a select few uh, people. I'm not going to be accepting everybody into my school so there's going to be certain standards and things that you're going to have to follow to get in. Um, but if you're somebody who is interested in doing astrology, you're interested in you know doing tarot readings, maybe even interested in starting your own um, you know your own business online through this type of stuff then I highly recommend that you subscribe to my channel right away and and you also uh, follow me on Instagram because in the next few weeks I will be coming out with uh, very important announcements in terms of you know how to make money online how to start your own business how to read your own astrology chart all of these things uh, that I will be helping now there's going to be a, f a select few number of people I'm not going to be accepting everybody so very important that you're following you're hearing the announcements because when that is uh, launched and released only a certain amount of people are are going to get in 
And in this course that I'm going to be providing, I'm going to be providing all of my secrets, um, not all of my secrets, but majority of my secrets in terms of, you know, what I drink, what I do to, to stay healthy and all of that. So it's not going to be on YouTube. It's not going to be um, just available for anybody. It's going to be for a select few people. So if this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you're subscribing, you're watching. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am an astrologist. I've been doing astrology for over 20 two years now and it's my passion I built my whole business on it I follow uh, a lot of astrology stuff which helps me you know in my life in general so this is definitely something that I want to share with the public and I want to create a group of people that really are ready to take on this new uh, this new phase that we're going into okay because the world is changing and things are changing so i want to make sure that the the people who hear this message and they resonate resonate excuse me with it the most are the people that are going to reach out to me and there will be certain links and information that i will provide in the coming weeks for you to reach out to me so if you're somebody who wants to start your own business online you know you've saved up enough money you're ready to make the investment in yourself you're ready to do it then make sure you're following and you're subscribed um so that when we do mention hey you know reach out to us we're you know we're ready to do the course we're ready to show you what you know what it's all about then you're ready to go okay so make sure you are subscribed you are um connected to me and you know you're ready for that announcement to move forward okay so that's my only announcement thus far i'm going to keep the announcements really short uh, because i want to jump hop right into the reading now before i get into the actual reading i do want to mention that at the end of the reading we are going to be doing ask a question get an answer we have um angel answers so all you have to do is simply ask a question it should be a question that could be answered with a yes or no it is a hundred percent free you do not have to pay if you decide to um donate to the channel then you know i thank you in advance for doing that but it's not necessary you don't have to unless you're guided to or you that's something that you would like to do so ask a question get an answer will be something that i provide at the end of the reading you can ask it in the live feed or you can comment below if you're not on the live i will be pulling three of these cards yes or no answers if you're somebody who's like you know what i want more than three i want you know an extra three or an extra six then there will be a link okay attached in the live feed that you can click that will take you to the extended reading and in the extended reading i will be pulling more ask a question get an answer there as well as going more in depth um you know into the reading and what you can expect moving forward okay so in this reading i'm going to get started i have two tarot decks here i have tarot deck number one and i have tarot deck number two and I'm going to be pulling one card for you and one card for your person. I'm going to also be pulling some cards on the side if you are separated from your person and you want to know what they're up to. We're going to see what is going on with them. I will be clarifying the cards in the extended. So this is going to be just a brief overview of what's going on. So if you want more details, that will be in the extended reading, which will be the uh, same amount of time I spend on here as I do in the extended okay so let's get started with the reading and we're going to see what is going on uh, with you and your person I'm going to start off with an important oracle message for you and your person and they're saying pull one for you and your person so I'm going to pull one for um, you and one for your person okay Okay, so here's your card and your message is reflection. And it says, give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. So right now you're being guided, um, collected. This is your message, by the way. You're being guided right now to just be on your own, um, to really go into this place of, you know, 
really really going within and figuring out why certain things are happening in your life we're going to pull some more cards and see um some of you are in a really sad place right now i'm getting like an energy of crying or upset or you know wanting to release yourself from something here i'm also feeling that a lot of you right now with the reflection card you're going through some sort of um transition within yourself and spirit is saying it's okay for you to go through that it's okay for you to go through this reflection period that you need to go through in order for things to change this is part of your transition okay so let's see now important message for your person is here and the message for your person is trust and there's that transformation word there it is so both you and your person are going through a transition right now and it says transformation occurs through acceptance once you accept the current situation it will automatically transform so there's something here about you and you and your person you both don't like being separated you both don't want to be away from one another but your person right now is being called collective to trust in this situation and you're being called right now to give this person space in order for something to transform tell me more about the important message for the collective in their person so you and your person got this card it's a very strong sexual energy that you and your person have and the message here for you and them is sexual union honor honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss so what this is telling me is is that a lot of you are learning that this is a really powerful connection okay so you're either in a really powerful connection or you are going to be attracting a really powerful connection and there's a transition that needs to happen between you and this person right now is what it's telling me so let's get into your reading collective and let's see what's going on i'm going to start off with you and we're going to pull one card for you and one card for your person Okay, so your energy right now is the Three of Cups Collective, and this is often a card of, you know, reconciliation. It's a card of coming together with someone, celebrating, maybe celebrating with friends. Some of you are spending time with friends, trying to forget about someone here. I feel like your energy right now is about reconciling, okay? There's a need or a want, desire here for you to maybe reconcile here, and you may be even reflecting on that, okay, with the reflection card. So we're going to find out more in a moment okay what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the eight of swords okay so you want to release yourself from this this mental prison that you've been in when it comes to thinking about this person tell me more about the collective's person now just keep in mind you could be on either side you don't have to be on this side but usually the collective's on this side and the collective's person is on this side tell me more about the collective's person Your person has the Six of Swords energy, and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups. I feel like this person um, right now that you're dealing with collective, this is somebody who I'm really strongly getting. <sighs> this person had to disconnect from you, okay? They didn't want to disconnect from you. They didn't want to leave, but there was something here that propelled this person to leave, to move away from you, okay? So let's pull some more cards, and let's see... Um, tell me more about the collective. What energy are they bringing to this relationship at this time? Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like collective right now, you want some sort of truth and clarity in terms of where you stand with this person. There's a real strong desire here for you to reconcile with this person, especially after they left and disconnected from you. Tell me more about the collective's person. Tell me more, what energy do they bring um, to this connection?
Okay, Eight of Pentacles. So for many of you, you're dealing with somebody here who, number one, they have a lot of memories with you. This is somebody who's really, really strongly connected to you. I feel like this person had to disconnect from you because of a work situation. There could have been some sort of um, work requirement that this person had to do. I'm seeing that this person, you know, ultimately they want to work on this with you. Okay, so if this isn't a work situation, if this person didn't leave because of a job, it could be the fact that this person really wants to work things out with you. And the reason why that may be is because there is a really strong connection that they feel with you. There's something here about um, a really strong sexual union that you have with this person. I don't know why this why it's such a strong connection but you have such a strong connection with this person and a lot of you want to know you know does this person really care about me does this person really want to be with me do they really want to be in this connection with me so i feel like this person had to disconnect from you for a reason we're going to see why they actually had to disconnect and where they where they stand in terms of um this connection with you so what i'm going to do now is we're going to get into the romance angels okay romance angels and of course um if you're not if, if you're someone who's new and you're not familiar with these type of readings that I do, I'm also going to be looking at the astrological uh, houses and the planets to see where you and this person stand. So we're going to get real deep into what is going on here. It looks like you and this person have a really strong connection, especially because this person, they're thinking about this. They're thinking about the memories that they have with you and you have the fool at the bottom. So a lot of you are waiting, like secretly you're waiting for this person to have a new beginning with them um because the connection is so strong okay so let's get into your reading um collective and let's see what is actually going on i'm going to start off with the romance angels tell me more about the collective in their person what is their biggest desire when it comes to love in this connection Okay, so the first card that you got for both you and this person, the energy between you and them is separation, okay? There is a separation. Um, if you're not in a separation right now and you're watching this, this may not be your reading, okay? But if you are in separation, this may be your reading, okay? So it says time apart from partner is on the horizon. So some of you are entering into uh, a, a phase or you know, a phase of separation. Others of you are actually in separation. So, you know, this is what's happening for many of you because right now, a lot of you need to learn value, okay? This person needs to learn how to value you and you need to learn how to value this person. So I'm really strongly getting here right now that um, there is a separation here, okay? This is what I'm seeing. Tell me more about the collective. What is their deepest desire when it comes to love? Okay. So your important love message collective right now is worth waiting for. And the message here is divine timing is at work in your love life so a lot of you right now don't realize what what or why you're going through what you're going through a lot of you um recently were forced into separation i feel like this person that you really care about left you they disconnected maybe work or money was more important to them than you were here and i feel like this is what led to a separation but what spirit is trying to say to you collective is is that you will have an opportunity to reconcile with the three of cups here and a lot of you want to know the truth. You want to know, uh, you know, is this someone that really cares about me? Is this someone I should be waiting for? I need to know the truth. So we're going to get more messages for you. And we're going to find out more about this wait. A lot of you are in this place of waiting or needing to wait because of this. Tell me more about this person. What is their ultimate desire here in love when it comes to the collective and this relationship? Okay, 
we have reconciliation in reverse. So this person, um, we have unrequited love at the bottom of the deck. So this person's starting to believe that, first of all, this person really cares about you. They really do. This is somebody who um, they know that they need to disconnect from you collective because there's something here that needs to transform and change in their life. And the only way that they can have a successful union with you is to disconnect. Now, this person, because they left you and because they disconnected from the situation, they may believe in the back of their mind that it's impossible to reconcile with you. They want to reconcile with you, but there's something that may be stopping them from doing this. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. So this person may feel like it's impossible to get you back they've been thinking about you six of cups in in the bottom of the deck here they've been thinking about the conflict there was maybe a conflict that both you and this person had because maybe this person felt like you rejected them or maybe um they rejected you but something here stopped you and this person from being together there's something that it's like there was a force or something that stopped you and this person and at the bottom of the deck you have unrequited love and playfulness and new love so this person is assuming that you may be moving towards new love or you may be interested in someone new you're no longer interested in playing the games um, that maybe this love has brought to your life so this person has been trying to forget about you but it's been difficult for them to 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 um you know to forget about you and disconnect from this so what i'm going to do what i usually do is i do a lot of um I do a lot of the, um, I do a lot of the clarification in the extended, but I'm going to do some clarification now because I want to get to the bottom of what's going on with you and this person. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to pull some cards to see what this person is doing behind the scenes. Okay. Cause you are in separation. This is a separation reading. So, uh, we're going to see what this person may be doing or planning in separation in a moment so let's do some clarification now if you're interested in any of the mini decks that i'm using on my channel you can head over to my store at monicalouv.ca where i sell these uh mini tarot decks some of them do come with the guide some of them don't the guide you can find here by taking a photo with um your camera and the guide pops up this comes with some of the decks not all of the decks so if you're interested this is the uh crystal unicorn tarot you will find that all linked and i have a deal from now until the end of um the month yeah until halloween it's buy four get one free or buy three get one free i don't remember but if you click below you'll see that um, if that's something that you're interested in okay so mini tarot decks in the store only so let's see what's going on uh, collective when it comes to you. Tell me more about the collective's person. Why did they leave? What happened here with the Six of Swords? Why did they disconnect? Okay, so the Six of Swords is clarified by the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, and the Five of Cups. So this person um, that you're very much in love with, that you have a very strong sexual chemistry with, very sexual, um, strong chemistry, this person chose to disconnect from this. Either they chose recently to disconnect from a job. It could have been a job where you and this person were working together, or it could have been the fact that someone here chose to walk away from work working on this because of some sort of lies or deception. I feel like someone here disconnected from you collective because intuitively they could not trust the situation. They could not trust you. Maybe, maybe there was something here about this person, um, feeling like you lied. There's something here that stopped this person from being with you. And I feel like there's a number of things. It's not just one specific thing. There's a number of things here. So, it looks like this person decided to disconnect because either there was a third party situation, someone lied, someone wasn't honest, or someone stopped talking or decided to ultimately disconnect from this. And this is why this person um, is feeling like, oh, well, maybe we're never going to reconcile. Tell me more about the collective. What is it that they want to, um, what is it they're waiting for? Is it worth waiting for? 
what is this reconciliation all about? Okay. So you have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Empress in reverse, and the Ten of Wands. This really affected you, this breakup that happened. I feel like a lot of you right now, you want to know the truth. Is it worth waiting for? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your energy? You know, a lot of you just want to know right now, is it worth my time? Because a lot of you feel some sort of burden on your back, like you're doing everything on your own. You're caring for everything on your own. And a lot of you have been feeling very withdrawn lately, as if it's been very difficult to heal from this situation. So your desire right now is to come out of separation, to see this person again. Do they want you, you know, do they still want you? Do you still want them? So it's a really strong energy that I'm feeling um, in terms of what's going on. So what we're going to do is I'm going to see what's happening behind the scenes with you and your person. And then we're going to get into the astrology and we're going to see what astrological um, impacts are affecting your love life with this person. So tell me what's going on behind the scenes with this person. The collective is thinking about what are they doing? Let's spy on them. Let's see what's happening behind the scenes. Okay, what are they doing behind the scenes? Okay, so bottom of the deck, you have the King of Pentacles. I feel like this person's really working on themselves right now. Um, they're wanting to become the best version of themselves. I don't see this person really doing much in the background. I feel like they're really closed off, Two of Swords. They're trying their best to get through this, okay? The separation has really affected them a lot on a very grand scale, but it has also prepared this person collective to sit in the Emperor energy, and there's a decision that they have to make, okay? So while they're in separation, they're thinking about you. Some of you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm getting Aquarius, Libra. Gemini I'm getting Leo Aries really strong as well as Sagittarius so and Libra very strong here okay so a lot of you right now are dealing with somebody who's ready to make a decision there's a decision that your person has to make um, in regards to you in regards to maybe being with you you're very different there's something different about you that you stand out from all the other women all the other men there's just something different about you that this person feels guided towards and I feel like there's a decision that your person has to make um, and that's another reason why they had to disconnect from you in order to make this decision so I do see this person wanting to reconcile with you but there may be something that's stopping them from um, allowing that to happen okay so what we're going to do is I'm going to get into the um, the intentions what is this person's intentions towards you and I'm also going to get into the astrological influences okay so what you can do now if you'd like you can guess what planets and what houses I'm going to be pulling out and you could guess in the live feed if you'd like and see how high your intuition is, how great your intuition is. So we're going to pull some cards and we're going to see what houses are being influenced. Okay. All right. So I'm going to pull three houses for you and three for your person on each side. What houses are affecting the collective and their person at this time? Three for you, three for your person. So three for you and three for your person, all right. So let's get into the houses and let's see what's going on with you and your person. So the houses that are affecting your love life right now, we have the eighth house, the second house and the fifth house. So a lot of you right now are still needing to um, become, I'm getting a financially independent, needing to become financially independent. I feel like a lot of you, um, 
really were affected by this person disconnecting from you because there could have been some sort of um, codependency here. Maybe this person was relying on you for money or vice versa. And I feel like right now a lot of you are wanting this connection. You're wanting this relationship because there could be some sort of plan that you and this person have to create your own income, to create your own money. And there could have a lot, to, this could have a lot to do with a transition or change that needs to happen between both you and this person in order to realize this, okay? So there's something that's changing in your love life when it comes to your finances. Your finances are being affected by your love life. Joint finances, okay? So if you were married to somebody and you're still somewhat connected to them financially, this could also be something that is affecting you right now, okay? So the these are the houses that are affecting you. The houses that are affecting your person, we have the 12th house, the 8th house, and the 6th house, yes. So this person right now is being affected their, their daily life their life, their day-to-day -day life is being affected by this. For some of you, this person had to walk away from their job or disconnect from their job and this affected your relationship with them. I feel like this person is starting to become more spiritual. They're starting to become more aware of their spirituality. They're starting to become more aware of just everything in general, you know, their life is changing. Whoever you're dealing with, this is someone's, um, their life has went upside down, 365 degrees, okay? And it's pushed them away from you. And I don't feel collective that this person doesn't care about you. I think that the transition that they're going through has been so intense that they've needed to disconnect from this. So what planets are affecting you at this time? We have Neptune, Neptune, and Venus, yes. So a lot of you right now are learning the hard, cold truth about love that, you know, love exists, but there's also going to be um, trials and errors that happen in love. A lot of you right now are learning how to love yourself, how to look through all the lies and the deception. Neptune is often associated with deception. It's associated with this fantasy land, fantasy world. And a lot of you are learning how to grow out of that. You're learning how to, you know, see something for what it truly is instead of continuously lying to yourself and being in this this daze, this fog. It's like, no, I'm going to wake up to the truth, the reality. And the reality is Venus, Neptune and Neptune twice here is you waking up from some sort of um, fantasy, your fantasies, yearnings, longings and potential for illusion. OK, so. A lot of you are learning what true love is rather than being associated with some sort of fake analogy or idea of what love is. So there's something here that a lot of you want, but you don't want this, this fake illusion of what love truly is. You want something real. Tell me more about the planets that are affecting the collective's person. Wow, your person has Venus as well, Mercury and Jupiter. Your person is learning right now in this transition while they are separated from you. They're learning how to express their love. They're learning that by expressing and communicating and saying what's really on their mind, that's what leads them to expand. Jupiter is all about expansion. It's all about you know, becoming the greatest versions of ourselves through higher education, higher knowledge. So right now, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who's learning how to express. Now that Mercury has gone direct, now that Jupiter has gone direct, and Venus is actually going to be going retrograde in the next few weeks, um, you know, this is now the time for your person to realize what it is that they need to do to harness love. Because, you know, what I'm strongly getting here, and this is a really important message for someone, what I'm strongly getting here, Collective, is you're dealing with somebody who's been forced to do some sort of changes, and the changes that they've been forced to do has actually affected their connection to you. And a lot of you think that it's you know, there's something wrong with you when it's not you. It's the fact that this person needs to go through a transition and go through a change in order to completely have this type of love that's coming into their life. Okay. So now that you both are being forced to kind of go through your own inner changes, it's caused a separation. It's not that you both don't love each other. It's that you both have to do the inner work. Okay. And that's what I feel like is happening right now for you and them. Okay. Now, before I get into the, um, we're going to get into the all signs. We're going to pull a card for your sign. I want to pull some um, love oracle cards because I don't know, it's like intuitively telling me to pull this. There's an important message here for you and your person. So let's see, heart, bro heart broken came popping out. So you both are really hurt over the fact that you're not together right now. 
it's like really sad. I'm getting a sad energy. Important message for the collective. Stop right there. Love call. And it says, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So remember how I was saying a lot of you are going to be um, like you're wanting a reconciliation. You're wanting to know if it's going to happen. I feel like you're going to receive a phone call. What I'm going to do with this, and this is why I was so called to pull the, um, the island wellness cards, because I felt very compelled to do it. And look what came out, love call. So I feel like this person's going to call you. We're going to, um, I'm going to clarify this later and and we're going to see what this person wants to say to you. Um, you know, do they want to reconcile? They There's like a confession here. There's a confession that this person's going to make to you. Tell me more about this person. What What's on their mind? What's going on when it comes to love with this person? addiction okay so it says codependent obsession possession um possession controlling has a block restraint okay so you're dealing with somebody right now who has an addiction they needed to be separated from you because this person needs to do the inner work like i said and a lot of you like you love this person you care about them and you want to be with them but at the same time you're dealing with someone who's codependent Okay, so like I said, either you were providing finances to this person and they became so codependent on you that they may have lost their job. There may have been some sort of situation uh, collective where they needed to disconnect and there could have been lies, deception, stealing, all of that associated with that. And there's a big, big lesson here that has to be learned. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to get into the um, all sign messages. We're going to see what your important message is. I'm going to also in the extended pull additional cards from your person we're going to see what your person feels uh for each sign okay so we're going to go through each sign in the extended as well as here and we're going to see what is going on so let's see what your important message is for your sign i always recommend checking your sun your moon and your rising and in the extended we're going to be checking to see what this person wants to say to you for all signs because you are going to get some sort of love call so we're going to go through with the whisper of love cards and i'm going to be pulling one for each sign in the extended and i'm going to be pulling um, for each sign here as well. There's going to be no timestamps, okay? So if you're kind enough to put timestamps below, then we we will love you forever if you do that, okay? All right, so let's check to see what is the important message for your sign. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, okay? And general message for everyone is look to the stars, right? Start studying astrology. Start, you know, becoming aware of the signs and synchronicities in the sky because the lights, astrology was put there to help you to become aware of your own personal reality, okay? So let's get started. Um, sign of Aries, important message for you is clear your energy field, okay? Do some saging, clear your energy, you know, clean your home, do whatever you need to, um, to align your energy, focus on yourself. Okay. Number 10 is your message. Now, Taurus, we have clean, clean your space. There you go. Clean your space. Get yourself um, prepared. Some of you are trying to attract something right now and you can't attract it because your house is dirty. There's a need for you to clean up. Okay. That's the message for you. All right. Gemini. Gemini, we have chanting. Some of you should be open to doing chanting or rituals that will uh, help with your throat chakra. It will help release some sort of tension that you have within yourself. Cancer, important message for you is burning bowl ritual. Some of you need to start doing rituals in terms, you know, with fire and 
um, using a burning bowl ritual. Number seven here, maybe you're trying to attract love. That could be a suggestion for you. Now, Leo, we have building, uh, build strength. There's something here about working out, needing to, um, you know, enhance your spirituality by working out, staying active. Uh, building your strength is going to be really important for you moving forward. Virgo, you have beauty rituals. There's something here about you loving yourself, putting, pouring into yourself, um, doing makeup, doing art, body art. There's something here about a beauty ritual that you need to try, that you should try. All right, Libra, important message for you. We have connecting with fire. So some of you should be open to doing um, a fire ritual. This will help you heal at this time. Number 12 is your number. Scorpio, we have use your hands. There's something here that you could be building or creating. This is what you're being called to do at this time. And your number is number 53. Sagittarius, you have take a walk. Uh, number 52, clear your mind, take a walk. The more you walk, the more you manifest and create your own reality. Capricorn, you have family. There's a need for you to maybe reach out to your family or speak to your family at this time. Uh, your number is 23. Aquarius, you have energy work, number 22. There's a need for you to focus on your inner body, um, doing energy work, clearing your energy in order to move forward. You have master number 22. So in order for you to build something here, you need to also work on your inner self. Pisces, you have drink tea, focus on drinking tea, healing yourself. Um, number 21 is your number, okay? So these are the uh, messages I have for you, very short messages. If you want more messages like what your person wants to say to you, I will be going sign by sign. That will be linked in the extended reading um, where I'm going to be pulling one card for each sign and we're going to be seeing what your person wants to say to you in terms of this love call. So make sure you check out the extended. That will be linked in the live as well as below, okay? So let's get into the other aspects of the reading now I'm going to be looking at primarily um, what is going on in terms of what needs to be healed between you and this person. So we're going to see what is the one thing that you and this person need to heal. And then we're going to see what this person's intentions are as well as what you may be manifesting moving forward. So let's see. What is it that these two need to heal in order to come back together? Okay, we have unleash your creativity. So you both are really um, needing to needing to be in separation from one another because a lot of you don't see each other's value. There's something here about not seeing the value within each other. And I feel collective, a lot of you are dealing with somebody who, as soon as there's a crisis or a problem, they start to go crazy. They start to disconnect. They start to run away from you or you start to run away from them. There's something here about you two needing to unleash the creativity that you both have because you both can create something great together. That's what you both are meant to do. But when pressures in society come crashing down on both of you you both panic and this is why you're both in separation now okay because the more you're in separation the more you're going to realize how how creative how you both can be creative together how you both can create together and the only way you're going to be able to know how to do this is if you both take a risk on making this happen so what needs to heal right now is your ability to see the value within um, yourselves first. Once you both see the value within each other, that's when you two are going to be able to come together. And we're going to talk more about this coming together in the extended. But first, I want to see what it is that you and this person are manifesting. What is it that you're manifesting? What is it that they're manifesting? What are you manifesting? We have the um, labyrinth and it says transition to a higher level of being raising your energetic vibration and enlightenment you see so a lot of you can't do this with your person you need to be on your own to raise your vibration to raise and enlighten yourself and there is a maze here so a lot of you are going through trials and and, and tribulations now but it's to raise your frequency once you raise your frequency that's when this person is going to come back around and that's when you're going to be able to reconnect with them tell me more about what this person's manifesting when it comes to this connection we have air. 
Some of you are dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and the message here is work with the elements of air to cut through the core of the situation and see the truth. So you see your person got trust and you, your person got truth. So your person needs to start realizing that they have the power to manifest and create what it is that they want with the air element. You're dealing with somebody right now who needs to go through this transition right now in order to see the value that you bring, okay? So if this person hasn't been able to see the value that you bring or vice versa, that's what's causing the separation. Big separations happening right now for many of the twin flames because somebody here doesn't want to do the work, okay? So there's a need for, you know, there's a need to do the inner work. So let's see what the intentions are of this person towards you. What are their intentions? You're going to pull one card to see what their intentions are towards you. And then we're going to ask a question, get an answer. What are their intentions towards you? We have discernment and it says all is not what it seems. Stay tuned to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. So this person's intentions right now are um, to be discerning. They don't want to come towards the situation um, not being prepared. And like I said, I don't feel like this person has bad intentions towards you. I think that this person doesn't want to be somebody who comes across as being somebody who's all about themselves. This is somebody who really wants to um, know that if they come towards you, it's real. There is something here about this person being discerning, not coming towards you right away because they don't want to act desperate. So I'm really strongly getting that this person, you know, what they're trying to say to you right now, collective, is to be discerning, to not only believe in everything that's happening around you, but also believe what is coming in for you as well, too, because I feel like this separation is something temporary until you and this person see each other's value. There's something here about seeing each other's value in order to completely move forward forward um, in this connection okay so let's get into the ask a question get an answer ask a question get an answer let's do a drum roll um, drum roll ask a question get an answer all right so I'm going to be asking um, or I'm going to be answering your questions. They are going to be yes or no answers. Um, keep in mind when you're asking a question, don't ask questions like, you know, what color is this person's underwear? Um, when are they going to show up at my door? Are they come? You know, what day are we going to get back together? We're going to be pulling some more cards in the extended. OK, I'm going to be pulling three here. So if you're interested in more, it will be linked uh, below. Okay, so you can ask your questions in the live feed. I highly recommend that you type your questions in the live feed. If you're watching this after the live, you can comment your questions below in the comment section along with what you're drinking. And we're going to see what's going on. So let's see what is, what's going on here, okay? Ask a question, get an answer. Ask a question, get an answer. Ask a question, get an answer. Ask a question get an answer and you have remain positive. This is a yes. But if you are being negative, if you're not remaining positive, if you don't believe, if you constantly feel like a victim, then this is a no. But if you're somebody who can rise above the chaos in the world and remain positive, I see this being a yes for you. Ask a question get an answer and you have let go. For me, this is a no. I feel like you need to let go of the situation in order for something better to come into your life. Ask a question, get an answer, and you have take action. I feel like this is a yes. It's 100% a yes, but you need to take action moving forward, okay? So collective, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in. In the extended reading, I'm going to be going a lot more in depth in terms of what is going on between you and this person that you are in separation from. I'm going to be clarifying the cards and seeing exactly what actions you're going to be taking, actions they're going to take, um, how you both view one another, how you both feel, what's going to happen in the outcome. What do you both want to say to each other? Is this person going to call you? It looks like they are. What are they going to say? What are they going to express? Um, what is it that they want to say to you? Because I feel like you and this person have a really strong connection. This person wants to reconcile, but they don't believe they're having a hard time trusting that it is possible to reconcile. So we're going to see exactly what this person is doing as well behind the scenes. Are they planning on coming towards you? What changes are they going to make? Are you two going to be together? Do you two, you know, still love each other? What is going to happen between you and this person moving forward? 
Uh, make sure you connect with me in the extended. It will be linked in the live. I'm going to post it in the live now. If you're watching this after the live, it will be linked below um, in the description box for you. And I will see you all there. Okay. Sending you lots of love and light. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.